Have you ever been overwhelmed by a multiplication chart? I mean, 144 numbers, a bit overwhelming, 12 times 12, oh my goodness. Well, in this video here today, I'm going to share with you several hacks to make this multiplication chart a bit more manageable. And actually, you probably know more than you think you do. Welcome to Purely Persistent, I'm Michelle. Okay, so here's just a standard multiplication chart that I printed. So let's go over this. Everybody knows one times any number, right? So one times one is one, one times two is two. Easy peasy. And same going the other way. Our tens, we've got that. 10 times one is 10, 10 times two is 20. It's easy. Now the 11s are also just as easy because one times one is 11. Two times 11 is 22. You just double the number. And on these ones here that get a little bit harder, just use a calculator. All right, we've got our fives down. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, twos, two times one is two, two times two is four. This seems to be one that if you can count by twos, which I'm sure you can, are much easier. And they're always going to be even numbers, right? Now, if you can do twos, then you can do fours. You just multiply it by two. So two times three is six. Multiply that by two and we get 12. So fours are pretty much like the twos. Now threes here can be a little bit challenging, but if you can count by threes, three, six, nine, 12, then you can get a hang of it more or less. Look at this. We have covered so much of this board. Now, if you'd like to see more videos like this, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Now here's a trick for 12. Let's say I want to go 12 times five. Well, I can just basically take 10 times five, which I know is really easy, 50, and then two times five, which is 10. So my answer is 60. So really with your 12s, just take 10 times the number, which is easy, and two times the number, which is easy, and then add them up together. But then of course, you can always use your handy calculator. So there goes the 12s. To do the nines, I want you to put your hands just like this. Now let's say I need to go nine times four. Tuck in your fourth finger, and the answer is 45. Let's try another one. Nine times seven. Put in your seventh finger and we have six D three. Now notice that all these numbers added up together do equal nine, but let's try another one. Nine times two. We have one and eight. So the answer is 18. Nine times nine. Tuck in the ninth finger. We have 81. Now, whoever said we couldn't multiply using our fingers? There go the nines. Nine times eight is really blue because it's an old 72. Now, most people tend to know what a number squared is or a number times itself. So here, six times six is 36, seven times seven is 49, eight times eight is 64. I dropped eight and eight on the floor, picked it up, now it's 64. Now we started with this whole thing, 144, and look, now we only have one, two, three, four, five, six. But wait, isn't six times seven 42, and seven times six 42? Notice we can get rid of a couple more because six times seven is the same thing as seven times six. Eight times seven is eight times six. So really, most of these you understand and you got these, except for these three right here. So we're going to make note cards. Okay. 
All right, six times seven, flip it over, 42. And now I take these note cards and quiz myself. Quick, six times seven, 42. Six times eight, 48. Seven times eight, 56. I hope that this multiplication chart with our couple little note cards really helps you and makes you a little bit more confident in your multiplication. Now remember, if you have multiplication down, you've got division down too. Now if the numbers get too big, Remember, you have your trusty calculator that is always there to help you. Comment below if you have any multiplication, addition, subtraction, or any math hacks that can help us out. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video. I hope that you have a beautiful day and remember to be purely persistent, okay? Some of these are gonna take a bit of work. You're going to have to use these little note cards and practice over and over and over. Maybe practice at the grocery store when you're in line. You know, instead of pulling out your phone and texting, maybe do your little cards first quickly and then do your texting.